Ooh, welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. How's everybody doing? Yes! It's me. Don't let the shade fool you. It's still me, the JT Automotive Rideshare Guru. I know y'all used to seeing the JT the mechanic, but yes, I still drive for Uber. I am still an Uber driver. Yes, I still do Uber videos. I just haven't done one in a while because I have been trying to get this automotive channel up and running. Eventually, I'm going to move this the, uh, ride share part to another uh, channel. But for now, let's talk a little Uber news, man. Uh, maybe I need to take these off, man, because y'all uh, probably thinking I'm JT Mechanic and I don't want to be JT Mechanic right now. I want to be JT the Uber ride share lift driver. Let's get it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I decided to leave them on. Listen, man, yes, today I did some ride sharing. Wait a minute, though, before you get all excited. Not as an Uber driver, but as an Uber rider. That's right, man. This morning I had to become a Uber rider. So I sat in the back seat and somebody shaped me. Somebody took me to my destination. Now, what I want to talk about because something happened after that ride ended. Now, what I want to talk about is a new feature Uber decided to implement. Okay? They decided to implement. Now, I haven't witnessed this, witnessed this as a driver because I haven't driven in a while. Y'all may not need to, didn't need to know that, but I decided to take it. Anyway, but listen. As a rider, what I saw on my app is something new. That's right, man. Uber doing a new thing, man. Is it for the better? I don't know. But let's talk about it. Okay. Now, Uber has changed uh, tipping strategy. The way they used to offer the riders to tip the drivers. Now, it used to be a dollar amount, just a simple old dollar amount. You can enter in whatever you wanted to. But now what they're trying to implement and they what they're trying to see is a uh, go by a change of doing it from based on a percentage standpoint. Okay? Percentage standpoint. Say it with me now. Percentage standpoint. That's right. So, hypothetically, if your ride costed you $20 Okay, this morning, I don't live too far from the job. My ride was close to $10. $10 right up the street. That's right, man. I had to pay somebody $10. I had to pay Uber $10 to take me from my home to my job. And in the midst of doing that, they took out almost $10 out of my account. I agreed to that. Can I complain? No, because I agreed to it. That's right, man. That's the way the system works. Now, what was the cut to the driver? I don't know. Is that my business? Absolutely not. It is not my business. But because I am a driver, I would like to know. But anyway, let me finish what I was talking about. What I witnessed after the ride, after I made it to my destination, there's a little warning sign. Not so much of a warning, but another screen popped up. And it gave me the option. It gave me the option. Not so much of an option. It gave me a decision to make. How much percentage-wise do I want to tip my driver? Now, mind you, I particularly gave my driver $5 cash. But I know how it is from a tipping standpoint because I'm a driver. I understand what drivers are going through. I'm just that kind of person. I gave him $5 cash, okay? But because this option came up asking me, how much percentage-wise do you want to give your driver, okay? Now, that's what made me uh, actually sit down, let's film this video, let's discuss this. Again, will this strategy work? What is the goal of this strategy? Are they trying to improve? Have they been listening to the drivers as far as tipping goes? It's really not so much Uber can do as it relates to customers tipping their drivers. I guess based on the amount of the fare will dictate if a customer wants to tip a driver or not. Or it could be how well of a service that driver rendered to that customer. That could be a deciding factor in how much tip a rider gives a passenger, okay? I don't know all the answers, people. I'm just here to talk about it. Now, is this better than the old way or not? I don't know, but let's discuss it. 
Some people seem to think this is Uber way of gathering data, seeing how much passengers really would spend on a ride. Not so much of the tip, cause supposedly Uber don't get any cut of the tip. So, if Uber charges a customer $20 and that customer choose to tip 20%, if I go on a ride and it's $10, I'm really prone to uh, giving a guy maybe five or 10, something like that. But I don't know, man. We're gonna have to operate this thing and see how it works. So I will hold my judgment until later. Okay, when I get out there and personally drive myself, because yes, I am still an Uber driver. I do it for fun, I love it. I love to meet people and discuss and talk to people as I drive, you know, it helps everything else that I do. I love it, uh, I like it a lot. I don't love it, I like it a lot, it's okay. Am I doing it for a living? No, there are some people are, and kudos to you if you're a full-time Ride share driver. That's just not where I'm at in life. All right, people. Uh, the new percentage way of tipping. We're going to let a week go by. We're going to discuss this again. Right now, this video is getting too long. And I hate long videos, okay? But again, thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see y'all on the next video.